Hey friends, I know a lot of you are trying to figure out this whole work from home thing. And if you're a standing desk person, we actually have a really cool way to make a quick portable standing desk that doesn't have to become permanent in your home. We figured this out when we were renovating our vintage Airstream to travel full time. So we built this, this crazy little tiny standing desk idea. So we wanted to show you just how easy it is. You may even have the stuff laying around the house to make it. So the first thing you need is a heavy duty tripod. Don't get a light duty one, especially if you're gonna put a computer on it, but make sure that it's probably in the, you know, $150, $200 range, just to make sure that it's not gonna fall over while you're using it. So go ahead and set that up. And then what you need on top of it is an Arca quick release and it's got a ball head mount on it. This is really important, I'll show you why in a second, but you also want this to be pretty robust. Now in my case, I just took a piece of wood and I mounted this bracket to it. This is an Aero Low Pro 2 bracket. And this just goes straight into the Arca mount. So it just slides right in. And then you can tighten it up. And then just raise it up to your proper level where you're about 90 degrees here. And automatic standing desk. So this is cool. You can see it moves a little, but it's pretty sturdy. Um, so, I mean, you could start with a notebook, you know, just do your writing or whatever, or you can throw a laptop up on it. Now I made mine big enough so that I could also set like a mouse over here or maybe have a drink here. Um, but you can, you could grab a piece of wood from Lowe's or Home Depot and you could build this yourself. I think the Arca company that I mentioned that makes the bracket does actually sell tabletops too, but I think they're made out of metal. Um, so you could do that, but the cheapest way would just be to grab some wood and do it yourself. So what's really great about this is that, you know, this is a nice, sturdy, usable area. You could put it just about anywhere in your house and it's not going to get in the way. And then when you're done with it, you just take the top off and you collapse the tripod and then you can put it away and it's out of the way. So this is really good if you're trying to work from home and maybe you don't have, you know, a workspace or an actual office in your house. You could set this up anywhere and it's good for you to stand obviously, but also it helps you not have to set up this entire permanent workspace. Now we've got some add-ons we can show you to make it a little bit cooler. We'll have to go inside the Airstream for that. All right, so come on in and I'll show you how I use it in the Airstream. So this is my office. We've got about 220 square feet in here. And when we renovated it, there obviously wasn't going to be a way for me to have a permanent desk. <laughs> so what we did, and this is probably the biggest sort of upgrade that we made to this, this standing desk idea is adding an external monitor. So if you have a laptop, you're like me and I do a lot of design work and web work and I need sort of extra room on the screen to work sometimes, a big monitor helps with that a lot. So I, this is an old cinema display, but basically I mounted it to this back wall with a newer tech pivot wall mount. And this arm is really great. It's only about 80 bucks on Amazon. It's really sturdy. This thing, this is a beast of a monitor. It's like 30 pounds, uh, but it'll go up, it'll come down. You can rotate it, move it around. We even pull it out way like this and we everybody jumps on the bed at night and we watch movies together. So this is a really versatile, use for this space and when we're not using it it can push back in the corner there and it's out of everybody's way so that's the biggest upgrade you can do obviously if you're working like this then something like a, a wireless keyboard is going to be really important because laptop is down out of the way it's not close enough to plug in same thing with a wireless mouse really like logitech they're pretty solid um, some airpods or some other sort of wireless headphones help a lot too because Standing where I'm at, I can't quite reach the headphone jack with a cable here, and I don't want to get you know caught on stuff when I'm trying to work. So let's talk costs. I'm going to do a super simple version. For a more detailed version, make sure you check out the links in the show notes. So. For my tabletop, I actually just took an old scrap piece of wood. I think it ended up being like 22 by 10, something like that. Um, now this is probably the piece that was the hardest for me to find to make this whole puzzle kind of fit together. 
and it's not cheap. It's about 60 or $70. Uh, there may be something else out there, I just haven't found one yet. But it's basically an Arca style mount so that it fits into the Arca plate. And I just, you know, mounted it straight to the piece of wood, made sure it was in the center. And then the second piece is this top part. And so this is, it's a ball head. So if I want to, I can move it around. But most importantly, it's got that, that Arca mount right there so that you can, you can stick that Arca plate right in there and tighten it up. These aren't too bad. They're about 30 bucks on Amazon. Now probably the biggest cost is going to be the tripod. And again, I really recommend a heavy duty tripod because if you're going to have your laptop on it or your maybe an iPad or any sort of expensive electronic device, you want to make sure that it's very stable. So I think this tripod runs around 200. Um, you can probably get some for maybe 150 or, you know, if you may already have one laying around the house that you could try out and you could use. So, you know, between $250, $300, you've got a standing desk that literally you can throw in your drawer at the end of the day. It's not going to be in the way. Uh, and it'll really kind of simplify this whole working from home thing that I'm sure many of you are trying to figure out right now. So I hope you enjoyed it. We hope you follow us. We'll see you down the road.